Hi guys. Jackets. Now, I know I've been over this before and I just wanted to cover it again because I happen to have two jackets. One that had imitation buttonholes that I could remove so that when I shortened it and it's going up two inches which is past the imitation buttonholes that I can just put the buttons back on. The other one, and I'm not going to say the brand, um, is, is an expensive jacket and I've unpicked it, I'll do a close up of this, but the buttonholes were cut. Now for me to shorten it, and fortunately we're going up to here, so I'm going to be able to darn that on the under, underneath underside and you're not going to see it. But if you can imagine that the buttonholes are on there and they're cut, so this fabric is joined together. Now to shorten it, you have to unpick this these two layers. So I do understand why people say, you know, it's a really nice feature and that, you know, they, they like having buttonholes cut. And I agree. I think it's a great feature. However, it's a great feature if the sleeves are the right length. But when the sleeves have to go up that much, it's not a great feature for someone who do clo does clothes alterations like me. Now this is going up over that much, which is a lot. And some would say, a tailor might say, shorten it from the top. And yeah, okay, you could, but three inches, you can see here that the sleeve is tapered, right? So when this gets up higher, it's going to get tighter on the arms to the point where for most men, if you raised it from the shoulder, it's going to be so tight on their um, biceps that they're not going to be able to, to wear it. So shortening it from here is not an option when you're taking up so much. So just to you guys out there who are designing jackets and you're cutting the buttonholes after you do the buttonhole, cutting them, you know, if you're selling that jacket in a shop or online, don't cut them. If the customer wants to cut them after the fact, let them. But don't cut them. Or, you know, if you ask your customer what this arm length is so that when they buy the jacket, the jacket's the right length, then it doesn't matter, does it? So I'm going to do a close up of that um, and just, you know, just trying to push the point, you know, don't cut the buttonholes unless it's exactly the right length for the person. So here you have the two jackets. So you can see there that I've unpicked the buttonholes because there's no way that I can shorten that without opening that out. Okay? And like I said, that's going to be shortened up to there. So I'll darn those on the inside. This is one which just had imitation, imitation buttonholes and they were only on this one side here. So they, they weren't on this side at all. They were only attached to this layer so that, you know, I, I could have left them on if, if it was only going up that much, but it's not, it's going up about that much. So I'll put the buttons back on, close the split. 
So there's the difference between one company and another. This one has done it what I perceive as correctly. The imitation buttonholes were on one layer. This one has folded it over and done it in this method which they, you know, I mean it that's nice, it is lovely, I agree, but not if the jacket's got to be shortened.